and welcome to the House of Zero channel. Yes, <laughs> switched on this whole time. <laughs> Hi fans and welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss a second of me and Saz. This is my mum. And this week we're talking about shampoos because Sarah used to be a hairdresser so she knows everything about shampoos. Um, we have a little shopping box here and we're trying to be like we're on QVC so bear with us while we um we? okay so I'm just gonna um undo the box and first of all I'm gonna show you this shampoo here this shampoo is called mint sorcery and it is of course mint flavor mum has a very good sense of smell a really good like <laughs> such a good sense of smell you're gonna be our smellologist okay mmm yes I'm getting Hints, mint. Hints of mint. So this one is our mint. I'm just going to put it in front of your face there so we don't see you. What the, what the Instagrammers are doing now is they put their hand behind it like that so it focuses better. So you have to go... Yeah, but you'll have to also get the box the right way. Go on then. There we go. <laughs> it's very minty. Um, I'm just going to remind everybody that these all come with matching conditioner bars as well so that you can make sure that your scents match in the bathroom. Got we really, really love this one for if you have uh, perhaps a dusty job or a job where you get tired very easily. Mint's very good at helping you stay awake for longer or feeling like you're awake for longer. <laughs> Too much mint for Sarah. Let's talk about the next one. This one is Shine On Shampoo Bar. <laughs> the camera's there. Yeah, this one is actually uh, a personal favourite of mine. It's really good for if you have dark hair or dark dyed hair. I dye my hair with henna. I haven't dyed it for a while, but I do dye my hair with henna, and this contains henna. Um, not in a harmful way, just very, very light touch of it. And the box actually has henna designs on it. I've not done my nails, but nobody has, and I've got henna tattoos on. Mm. Um, but yeah, this one is for processed coloured hair. And it really, it's really, really it's nice. lovely smelling. It's yeah. really nice. And it does keep like it quite... Me. Lightly it's fragrance. got a light fragrance, yeah, light yeah. Fragrance it's not too in your face. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so that's a personal favourite of mine, and when we had our first stock order, that was the one that sold out first, so that's very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, it makes your hair quite glossy. I mean, my hair is nothing to judge it on because I've not done anything with it, but it does make your hair really glossy and um, lovely, and it feels cleaner for longer. Oh, I like the name on this one. We are family shampoo. So this one is featured in our basic bathroom box um, because it's great for all hair types. Green. It's hypoallergenic, there's not any nasties in it, well there's not, no nasties in anything, it's just no. a really nice, generic, clean, fresh, florally smelling yeah. shampoo. Mm. Not too fruity, not too florally, just nice for everybody. Mm. I, there, there's something in that, I can't think, Let's would it be look. citrus? Something sharp? So it has coconut in it, which is all the rage at the moment. People use lots of mm. coconut oils on their skin. I use coconut butter um, in the summertime. So lovely. You love it, don't you, Sarah? Oh, I do. I do. The thing with these uh, shampoo bars is that there's... <laughs> right, let's put that one away. I'm just driving you wild. <laughs> right. This one is called... Oh, Blonde Ambition. This is my favourite. Let's do the hand behind. No, I don't want to do the hand yeah, behind. But, okay, but, all right. This one's um, that's not even the front of <laughs> Okay. This is your audition for QVC. It is, yes. Okay. My They might scout you from these videos. Oh absolutely, but I'm just too busy. Yeah, you've been using this one for quite a while now, and it was quite hard to convert mum to shampoo bars because she loves her shampoo having been a hairdresser. Um, and she's very protective of her hair, natural blonde, every six weeks. So um it was quite hard to swap you to it. It was, it was. But, but you've had it now for a while and it's lasted mm, you quite a long time and it, it gets has, a really yeah. good lather. Yeah, it does. It has a conditioner that comes with it as well, the same stuff. Yeah. So you can use this as a shampoo and then you've got your conditioner, same as if you had it in a bottle. Oh, it's got citronella. Oh. So it's really good for when you're outside, the flies don't uh, come near you. <laughs> which is a really nice change That's of pace for Sarah. <laughs> The advantage is, <laughs> you don't get no flies. You don't get no flies. You don't get no flies on me. I would say if you have dark hair, shine on, oh, let's do that. Shine on is, is the best one. Um, and if you have blonde hair, then blonde ambition is the best one. If you have natural or dyed, um, God forbid, <laughs> blonde hair. <laughs> um, yeah, did you want to show them the bar? Because it has 
um, it has some little florally bits yeah. pressed into it, which is quite yeah. nice. A little bit of a difference, which will keep it fresher and keep it smellier for longer. Right. What's up next? This one's stink or swim. No, it's called sink or swim. This one's <laughs> called sink or swim. Lovely. Um, this one is really, really good for if you go swimming quite often or if you're a surfer and you're in the beach. Uh, Ooh, quite a lot. Nice. It's really good for kids. I'm going to put it in our kids box because of kids going to swimming lessons and different things. Um, it's not toxic and strong, but it will get the scent um, out of the children's hair and it will yeah. clean the chlorine out of it. It's it does leave you smelling quite nice. fresh. It's really good for after swimming and it's also really good for after sports as well because it's just that fresh smelling. And it's very good that it's not toxic. And we thought that was the best one for kids overall. Mm. It does have coconut oil in it to moisturise your hair. What sort of things are you smelling? It's sort of like just a... nice and fresh. Just yeah. nice. Yeah, nothing too overpowering at all. No. Just really nice. It's one of those soaps that you could put in your pant drawer to keep it fresh because it's kind of a fresh mm. yeah. smell. Yeah, you could put that in your pant drawer. Yeah. <laughs> We have three left, and instead of you just watching us smell things all the time, you're going to watch Mum close her eyes and try and guess what smell is in the shampoo bar. Okay, so close your eyes, Mum. Yep, done. And this is the first one. These ones are all quite heavily scented, which means they're really great for travel because they keep their smell. And they are liquid free, so they only foam up when they have water on them. So it's great you don't have to decant them in and out of your bag when you're uh, travelling. And this will last you for uh, about four to six weeks. And I don't think that you'll find a shampoo bottle equivalent that is under 100 mil that will last you that long so it is perfect for traveling right get your nostrils ready says oh oh that's a bit um chocolatey i think that one yeah it's very very chocolatey and this is why we didn't put this one in the children's box because we didn't want anything to be confused with food this one is really really chocolatey and the conditioner is just as chocolatey as well and if you can see it has lots of little bits in it because it's chocolate and coconut um, it's just gorgeous. It smells a bit chocolatey, it can smell a bit like coffee sometimes, and it's really, really great for keeping your hair fresh. And I think that you can get quite a few days use out of your hair after you've shampooed it with this because it is so lovely and strong with chocolate and cocoa beans in it. And that one is Aisha Coco. The next one, this one here. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Oh, that's sort of citrony. Yes, this one is called, uh, exactly that actually, this one is called Citrus Paradisi and it almost like transforms you away to Paradise Island. It's this bright lemony yellow colour. Um, it does have coconut in it again just to keep your hair nice and shiny and it smells of like limes and coconut and lemons and pineapple and everything citrusy all together and it's so so nice and fresh. Um, Anything. It's not so strong that it makes it's sour that it makes your eyes no, go. No. But it is really, really gorgeous. And I've had some great reviews from my auntie up north actually. She bought oh, a she? few of these. Yeah, Pam. Oh. Um, and she really, really liked them. They're really great and she's got really short hair actually. So these mm. are gonna last her for ages and ages and ages. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the last one. This is what it is. Give it a whiff. Oh, that's coconut. Oh. This one's called Bounty Hunter, which is actually your favourite um, oh. choice out of the selection well, of box at Christmas. I tell you what, if we had that and I should cocoa, we've got a bounty. <laughs> yeah, we have got a bounty. Yeah, they can be bought together as win, the bounty win. package. Um, yeah, this one is really, really coconutty and really nice. This is probably uh, one of our smelliest ones, but least offensive smell, if that makes sense, because lots of people don't like citrus or they don't like florals or they don't like mm. fruits and um, no. you don't really like fruity ones so this one's really really mm. nice and lovely um, and we really like that one we sent one of those ones to Rowena and she really likes it ah, and this one is for although this is not uh, attached but this is for dry grey hair types nothing but it could be for anything Rowena at all no, no this one's really really great if you have um, over processed hair okay yeah um, because it will bring it back hair that we can embarrass ourselves with <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's all the shampoos and they also have matching conditions that come with them. We're not going to do a matching conditioner version, but we might do a how-to conditioner because it's quite hard to sometimes get on with the conditioners when you're first swapping from the bottle to the bar. These um, soaps are all from just down the road in Pool from a company called Bath Bubble and Beyond and we absolutely love them and we do use quite a lot of their products, which is... Um, really nice for them <laughs> yeah we do include quite a lot of their products so Sarah can you tell us how much these are can you remember 
These soaps are £3.50 each. Yeah, they are £3.50, which is super great because that lasts you for about six weeks. And they're all great for travelling because they're totally liquid free. They're really small and they can fit in your handbag or your suitcase or your hand luggage. Um, yeah. Or even great. in your hand. Yeah, even they're, in your hand. They're hand sized. They're, they are totally zero waste. So when you finish with them, it's not like you have a bottle or anything that you need to recycle. It just simply dissolves and the soap is gone. So there's nothing going to landfills, which is really, really great. Magic, it's just magic. Right, so what we're gonna do when we do these videos is we want to include some positive zero waste news. And this week, the news that I have, and I'm really happy to see it, is that Greta Thunberg, the Swedish girl who mm -hmm. advocates for climate change, mm -hmm. is on the front of the Rolling Stone, the Rolling Stones um, magazine. And the magazine is all about climate change. And it has a bit in the back about Jane Goodall, the lady who rescues the monkeys and the Jane Goodall Foundation. Oh, right, yeah. 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 Um, Nanny Jane's a big fan of hers. Oh. Um, so it's a really great, and I think the paper is all printed on recyclable or reused paper, and it's got some really great articles in there, and it's got articles about what people are doing around the world in their, in their high places and in their ivory towers to reduce our waste that we have. Mm. But really, we can't depend on them. It all comes down to us and mm. our low-impact living. We know the stats of how much waste each of us sends to the landfills each year and it's just a simple change which actually is more effective it's more cost effective because these are much cheaper they last longer they're made out of natural ingredients they give jobs to local people they support independent businesses and there's no waste at the end of it so it's win 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 win, win. yeah all the wins which is great we're going to talk about other companies that we recommend because we think it's really nice to yeah. do that yeah so other companies that we recommend because we've been uh, researching lots of different subscription boxes in the lead up to making house of zero and i thought maybe we could talk about small mm -hmm. because you've been using the dishwasher tablets and some oh, new ones came yes. in the post today they came today yeah yeah and they're so pretty they're pink and white i'll go get one yeah <laughs> So um, basically, Small is a company that does zero waste washing detergents. They do it for your washing machine and they do it for your dishwasher. And I use the washing machine one and mum uses the dishwasher one. We have it on our subscription. So all you do is you type in on the website how many washes that you have averagely per week and they work out how many tablets you should have and they send them to you on a cycle, on a monthly cycle. So, so this is my monthly cycle. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to open that box because that is a childproof box. They've been able to make their boxes totally out of recycled cardboard, um, but they've also made them childproof because we know that there have been lots of accidents with children mm. getting into detergents, probably because they are so pretty. Um, so there's a special way that you have to open this box. Um, my dishwasher's on now, and it has one of these in it. Yeah, it smells really nice actually. They are nice, aren't they? I'm, I'm not sure what the smell is, but it's quite I leave florally. the box open in my cupboard because then oh. it makes the kitchen smell nice. Yeah, I think it's quite a florally thing. So, that's so it there. looks like it has a plastic on it, but it's actually a dissolvable plastic. Mm. Yeah. Um, they're made without cruelty to animals or testing on animals. And it's just a really, really lovely company. And they're called mm. Small or Small. And I think their slogan is making small difference around the world. So oh, that's good. The thing is with laundry detergents, they come in big plastic things mm, and they also yeah. can be quite toxic so that they can get your stains out, uh, which is quite harmful to the environment and to be putting into your water. So it's really great that they've made a really easy swap. And also I wrote to them ages ago and said that I really, really love their brand and I'd love it to be part of House of Zero. And so we are an official reseller of them, although mm. I haven't got any on the website yet for you to buy because we just wanted to recommend the product and say how great they were. If you use it or any products that you think that we should recommend or try out, let us know in the comments below. For the next week, we're gonna be, we have like a little challenge. So my friend's mum, who has been a zero waster for as long as I can remember, and she's quite an inspiration actually, Jade's mum, Rita. Mm -hmm. yeah. She gave me one of these the other day, which has been handmade by somebody in Salisbury. It's been crocheted. Um, and it is a dishwashing um, cloth, but it also could be used for taking off your makeup. It could be also used as a flannel for your children in the bath. And we wanted to try and make them because Sarah has a knit and natter club. So using this design, we've looked up on YouTube and we've bought some 100% cotton from our local wool friends. Our local wool Actually, friend, Annie of Annie's Out of House Wool Shop. Yes, who's just moved from um, Wilton Shopping Village to our house actually, um, to to, to a site here. So that's really exciting. We're really excited to have to a here. unit here at Clearway. So we are looking to make these and if anyone wants to make them then that's great. And that's our challenge for the next week. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye. It's bye from me and bye from her. <laughs> bye from her.
Five from House of Zero. Oh, yeah! 